Let's now set up our development environment so that we can start writing and running our JavaScript code. First, let's talk about what a development environment is. It is simply a set of tools and software that we will use to write, test, and debug our code. In our case, it will include a code editor, a browser to test our code in, and some extensions to help make our development process easier. First, let's talk about the browser. We will be using Google Chrome throughout this course, but you can also use Firefox if you prefer. Make sure you have one of these browsers installed on your computer. Next, we need a code editor. We will be using Visual Studio Code throughout this course. It is a popular and powerful code editor that is free to download and use. To download it, simply go to the Visual Studio Code website and click the download button. Once Visual Studio Code is downloaded, extract the zip file. Now you can install it like any other application. On Windows, you would open the installer and click next a bunch of times. On Mac, just take the application file and drag it to the applications folder. Once Visual Studio Code is installed, we can open it and start creating our project. To do this, we need to create a new directory for our project. And to do that, click on File on the top left, then click on Open Folder. Now navigate to the location where you want to create your project. In my case, it's going to be in the desktop folder and I'm going to create a new folder called JavaScript course and click open. Now that we have our project folder open in Visual Studio Code, we can create our HTML and JavaScript files. To do this, click on the file plus icon and name your file index.html. Now repeat this process and create another file called main.js. Now, as you may notice, we included an HTML file in our project, even though we're learning JavaScript. This is because JavaScript code in the client side is usually run in the context of an HTML page. However, you do not need to know HTML as we will only be using it as a way to run our JavaScript code. Now let's go to our HTML file and type exclamation point. Visual Studio Code will give you a few recommendations. Just hit enter or tab on the first one and this will generate some HTML code for us. Again, it is totally fine if you don't know HTML. All we need to do here is go into our HTML body and add a script tag with the source attribute pointing to our JavaScript file. In our case, the JavaScript file is called main.js. So let's add that here. And you can now save your file using Control S or Command S on Mac. Next, we are going to install a very useful extension called Live Server. This extension allows us to run our HTML file in a local server and it will automatically refresh the page whenever we make changes to our code. To install it, click the extensions icon on the left side of the window, then search for Live Server. Go to the one with the most downloads and click install. I already have it installed, so I'm getting the option to either disable it or uninstall it. Now that Live Server is installed, we can run our HTML file by right clicking on it and clicking open with Live Server. This will open a new browser window with our HTML file running. Any changes we make to our code will automatically be reflected in this browser window. Speaking of the browser, another helpful tool is the browser's console. To open the console, right click on the page and select inspect. This will open the developer's tool and you can click on the console tab. Here you can view any errors or outputs from your JavaScript code. As you can see, we have an output that says live reload enabled. This is from the live server extension that we just installed, but we don't really care about it. So we can clear out our console by clicking on this icon. Let's now keep our editor and browser side by side so we can see the changes happen live without having to switch between windows. Now you are ready to start writing your JavaScript code. Before going to the next video, let's get some output in our browser console. The way you can do that is by going into your JavaScript file and writing console.log and opening parentheses, and you'll notice a closing one is automatically generated for you. Inside this, open double quotes, and as is the programming tradition, the first thing to output is always hello world. So let's type that out. Make sure to also add a semicolon at the end, which indicates to JavaScript that you have ended your statements. Let's now save the file and you'll notice in the browser console, we have an output saying hello world. Congratulations, you have written your first JavaScript program.